Welcome to our virtual open evening. My name is Julie Haig, I'm co-head at Batley Girls High School and CEO of Batley Multi Academy Trust. We provide a first-rate education and we have excellent outcomes at GCSE and A-level over a sustained period of time. We also have exceptional resources, facilities and most importantly we have an outstanding team of teachers in every subject area. Welcome to the English Department of Batley Girls High School. We have designed English here to be ambitious and we've tried to put reading and stories at the heart of what you will learn. We've thought about English as a journey. So you start in year seven, um, carry on to Key Stage 4 where you do uh, GCSEs in English Language and English Literature and then hopefully study A-levels with us in English Language, English Literature or Media Studies. In Year 7 we continue your journey from primary school and look back on what you've already learned by starting with fairy tales and myths and legends, so something you're already familiar with but with them we had add a whole new twist. Then through Year 7 and 8 you'll have the chance to study um, a range of non-fiction, poetry, plays, Shakespeare and some wonderful novels by featuring some really strong female characters. And of course you'll have the opportunity to develop your own voice when we study a range of different styles of writing. At Batley Girls High School we successfully use the Accelerated Reader Programme to make links between our English lessons, the LRC, home learning and reflection time as we know how important reading is for success across the curriculum and for home learning. We also like to reward students um, for passing their quizzes. So we have previously allowed students to visit Krispy Kreme and we've purchased some donuts and drinks as a reward for that for passing their quizzes. We have also allowed gelato passion treats to be delivered to school for those students who are the most engaged. To ensure our students always have access to books, we have set up a book club um, where in our form students sh share ideas about the books they are currently reading. And it's not just about what you learn in the classroom either. We believe that every experience outside of the classroom counts towards your education too. As Mrs. Roberts said, you, in Year 7 you will be studying a theme based on fairy tales and narrative plot. As part of this, at the end of the first term of school, you will have the chance to see a fairy tale come to life on stage at one of the local theatres. Last year we saw Jack and the Beanstalk. As you work your way through Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4, there are other opportunities to see English come to life on stage too. We often run trips to see Shakespeare plays, including Romeo and Juliet and Macbeth, as well as other plays like an Inspector Calls. You also have the opportunity to see poets perform their poetry live on stage to help further your studies. Last year, we also ran a trip to Whitby Abbey, where students got to spend the weekend right next to the Abbey and explore the genre of the Gothic. As part of this weekend, they got to explore the Abbey in the dark, as well as take a nighttime walk around the local churchyard. As students enter Year 7, our initial focus in Maths is to ensure that every student has a real understanding of numbers. Our aim is to develop mastery, which is a deep understanding as opposed to surface knowledge or just rote learning. We want them to understand why they are doing something, what it really means, rather than purely learning a procedure so that students can then begin to make real progress. Welcome to the Science Department at Batley Girls High School. Here we have developed a five year curriculum which is really engaging and has practical science at the heart of it. And I hope you'll see some of that now. Hi, so uh, one of the things we're gonna show you is uh, we're gonna show you how uh, colors can diffuse. Um, they go from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. Uh, it's one of those ones that you can do at home. All I'm gonna do is use some water uh, and these colored sweets and we're gonna leave that for a little bit and what's gonna happen is the color is gonna bleed away from those sweets and we're gonna show you what it looks like towards the end. What I've got here is I've got five different chemicals and the five different chemicals have different metal ions and depending on which metal ion it is, 
it will give me a different flame colour in the Bunsen burner. So I'm going to show you some of those. So this one is a sodium compound, which gives me a lovely orange yellow flame there. Next I have a copper compound, which hopefully you can see is green. I have lithium metal compound here, which is red crimson. I'll do potassium next. So we've got a pinky lilac flame there. And my last solution is calcium, which is, or again, like a brick red colour there. And to finish off, I have some iron filing. So this isn't a solution, it's just iron. And if I sprinkle them in, you can see that's what's in sparklers. Hello, so this is an experiment called Elephant's Toothpaste and it's called Elephant's Toothpaste because this mixture of chemicals make a gas really quickly and it's a bit like a toothpaste tube, makes a lot of foamy mess. Here it comes. So here is a magic bottle. It contains a magic liquid. And if I give it a shake, what we might see is it will change color. But really, it's science that's magic, not real magic, because the oxygen from this air here is reacting with the chemical in here to change its color. Hi, I'm Mrs Wilby and I'm the Head of Humanities. In the Humanities Department we study History, Geography and RE from Key Stage 3 through to Key Stage 5. Hi and welcome to Languages. Here you can study five languages. Latin, Spanish, French, Arabic and Urdu. Latin is very useful, for example, for Koreans like law or medicine. And you can see some displays that have been created by our students, like these temples. French is also very popular with our students. We offer lots of different reading books to extend their learning and it's very much on demand by employers on the job market. In this case, we also study Urdu here. Your child can do GCSE and A-level and they can do a good way to study, to write, to write, to write, to write, and when they go to Pakistan, भारत जाएं तो उनको बहुत फायदा होगा तो मैं मशवरा दूं कि आपके बच्ची उर्दू जरूर पढ़े यू कैन आल्सो लर्न क्लासिकल अरबिक व्हिच इज वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इफ योर इफ यू लाइक ट्रैवलिंग टू कंट्रीज लाइक इजिप्ट और मोरोक्को और टू द अरब एमिरेट्स एंड इट्स आल्सो बिकमिंग वेरी पॉपुलर इन बिजनेस But we also like to learn through fun activities such as games. C'est ce qui est, ah, moi oui. j'adore qui est. Moi aussi, c'est super. Alors, um, c'est une femme? Oui, c'est une femme. Ok. Elle a des lunettes? Non, elle ne porte pas de lunettes. Mm. C'est Catherine? Non, ce n'est pas Catherine. Mm. Elle a les yeux bleus? Oui, elle a les yeux bleus. Ah, c'est Marie. Oui, c'est Marie. Ah, super. 
And we also learn languages through movies. Quel est ton film préféré? Moi, j'adore les vacances du petit Nicolas. C'est super. Ah oui, c'est super. And in this school, finally, you can also learn Spanish for GCSE. Hasta luego. Welcome to Battle Girls Art Department. We believe you're all artists and we look forward to developing your talents and finding your skills as artists. You'll see the artwork around school really shows how much we value art in this school. And all the work is produced by students who were working here last year. I'll just take you through the tour of the art department. We have five specialist art rooms, textiles room, computer rooms, and a fantastic photography studio, which I'll show you now. Here we have Miss Chambers and Mrs Evans working with the photography equipment. This is one of our computer spaces for students to use. And this is one of our five specialist start rooms in school where students have their lessons. All year groups have lessons in these rooms. We've got our three, three of our art teachers here, Mrs. Barrett, Mrs. Sharp and Miss Pamant working on practical projects. I'll talk a bit about Key Stage 3 art projects, which are designed really to embed key skills for students. Um, we focus on painting and drawing, on understanding colour and artists and 3D. We really value the idea of um, understanding the place of art in the world and in society and we build in looking at art from other cultures and working with a variety of mark making techniques and painting techniques as well as sculpture. These skills transfer well into our Key Stage 4 options. We have five really popular options of fine art, photography, graphics, textiles and a BTEC art and design course, both of which, all of which are done as Key Stage 5 subjects as well. We're really lucky in this school to have A-level subjects and Key Stage 5 subjects. The students themselves um, work in the back room and use it as studio spaces and they act as fantastic role models for the younger students. Um, we're proud to say that a third of our A-level students have gone on to do arts related courses year on year and quite a few of those have gone on to work in an arts career. Um, we really feel proud of the success of our cohort and we look forward to hopefully welcoming you in our department one day. Hello, my name's Miss Axelby. Um, I lead design technology here at Batley Girls and I'm just going to talk you through a little bit about the different things that we do when you come to join us at Key Stage 3. So one of our sort of key areas, if you like, is that we like to design things, we like to make things and we like to do that very, very safely, obviously. Um, there are four areas of design technology. Textiles, where we work with fabric, typically using things, making items like this. This is a bag of the kind that we would make with Year 7. Um, there is product design, where they will make different um, office-based things, usually out of wood and out of plastic. Often we will also use the laser cutter, so we will use the computer to design and then the laser cutter to cut out. So this is actually etched into the surface of this from a drawing. We will also do graphics where students will usually do the kind of thing that they might have done a little bit in Key Stage 2, things like posters or packaging. Again, if we can get onto the computer and do some computer-aided design elements of that, all the better. That's a good skill to practice. Um, and then food as well, and they will learn to uh, prepare different things, use the different equipment in the places as well. And again, like I said earlier, use those things really safely. So we use the same design criteria um, to assess our work in design technology. And the reason for that is that our students, when they find out what level they've achieved, they can then look and see what the next level up is. And there are some guides in the back of this booklet. Each student will get a booklet to keep a hold of so that they can refer to that at any point at their time in Key Stage 3. Because of the nature of our carousel system, our rotation, so all students will do textiles each year, all students will do product design, all students will do food, and all students will do graphics. Because of the nature of that, we have to carousel around. And because of the carousel, it makes it really easy to do spiral learning. Well, we introduce the basics, we build on the basics, implement them into our projects, and then they can reflect back on the successes and perhaps the targets and the development points that they have. Hi, Year 6. 
My name's Mr Evans and I teach drama here at Batley Girls High School. In year seven and eight, you'll study performing arts, which is drama and music. So drama, which myself and Miss Foster uh, teach, you might meet her later. Drama, we do all sorts of things. I like to make my lessons quite physical, so we do a lot of physical theatre, a lot of mime. We do lots of project work, so in year eight, we'll be studying pantomime, as well as television soap operas. We do all sorts of things in, in drama. Also, we have a great tradition in this school of the school production that many of our students are in. Year sevens, eights, nines and tens, we usually get a large cast who enjoy being in our, our student productions. So over the last few years, we've done loads. In 2018, we did Peter Pan. Fantastic production. We had a year nine girl playing Peter Pan. Fantastic costumes. A lot of the students who don't want to be in the show can help out with things like set and costume as well. In 2019, we did The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. And again, you see fantastic costumes, wonderful fairy lights, a real atmosphere. Parents, obviously, and families can come and see these productions and we always sell out. So who knows? Maybe in 2021, you could take part in one of our school productions and be performing in front of over 200 members of our, of our school community and their families. So think on that and we look forward to seeing, hopefully, loads of you in 2021. Hi there Year 6, my name is Miss Lever and I'm the music teacher here at Batley Girls High School. So you'll learn a range of different instruments in Year 7 and 8. So we'll be looking at keyboards, ukuleles, we'll do a lot of singing as well and then also we'll play the djembe drums and look at body percussion. You'll also have the opportunity to take performing arts in Key Stage 4 where you'll look at different performance roles. So these include musical theatre performers, acting and dancing. You'll also be able to research different artists and how they professionally perform in the industry. Students will build on the physical development and skills learned previously. They will develop confidence and interest to get involved in exercise, sports and activities out of school and in later life and understand the long-term health benefits of physical activity. Due to the fantastic facilities available to us at the Sports Centre, which is next to the school site, this allows us to cover a range of activities including dance, fitness, gymnastics, swimming, football, rounders, cricket, athletics and tennis. Hello, my name's Gillian Hughes and here we are in the heart of the school, our wellbeing suite. In this area, we offer a wide range of support and interventions to help our students make the absolute best of their education here. And a huge part of that is working very closely with families. So I'll just go through some of the services we have on offer here in the Wellbeing Suite. So this is the area occupied by our nurse advisor, it's our medical room as well. And our nurse advisor works very closely with families and students around all issues to do with health. We also have a full-time uh, school social worker who again supports students and families and works with outside agencies. We have our counsellor Lucy, our emotional support worker Kylie and then uh, a fantastic team of safeguarding officers all based in this area. Shall we go and meet Emma now, our Senko? Hi, I'm Emma Hodgson, the Senko and Inclusion Lead. Um, this is where you will find myself and a team of eight uh, teaching assistants who would support your daughter should they have any additional needs. They might be physical, sensory or emotional difficulties. We do everything we can in this department to remove barriers to learning to ensure that your daughter will make the same outstanding progress as her peers. This is a school where absolutely inspirational education happens. We're all about seeing every young person as an individual, finding what their unique talents and abilities are and enabling them to succeed to the highest possible level. It really is all about transformative education at Batley Girls and about moving on to successful futures and developing the whole person. <laughs> 